New words and examples. Abandon. To abandon something is to leave it forever or for a long time. The old room had been abandoned years before. Ambitious. If someone is ambitious, they want to be rich or successful. Kendra had to be ambitious to get into medical school. Bark. When a dog barks, it makes a short, loud noise. The dog barked loudly and frighteningly. Bay. A bay is an area near the ocean where the land goes inward. The Golden Gate Bridge crosses San Francisco Bay. Brilliant. If someone is brilliant, they are very smart. My younger sister is brilliant for someone her age. Chin. Your chin is the hard part at the bottom of your face. Luke pointed to the hair on his chin. Complaint. A complaint is something you say to tell people that you don't like something. Mom said she didn't want to hear my brother's complaints. Deaf. When someone is deaf, they cannot hear. Susan was born deaf. Enthusiastic. To be enthusiastic about something is to be excited by or interested in it. The man was enthusiastic about his job. Expedition. An expedition is a long trip, usually to a place very far away. They got into their spaceship to begin their expedition. Horizon. The horizon is where the sky looks like it meets the ground. The sun dipped below the horizon. Loyal. To be loyal to something or someone is to agree to always help them. The three friends are very loyal to each other. Mayor. The mayor is the person in charge of a city. The mayor of my hometown is quite a powerful speaker. Mutual. If something is mutual, it is felt in the same way by two or more people. Robert likes Sarah. The feeling is mutual. Overweight. If someone is overweight, they are very fat. Roger eats too much, so now he's overweight. Refuge. A refuge is a place where you go to be safe. When it started to rain, she found refuge in the house. Restore. To restore something is to put it back the way it was. Victor restored the old car. Rub. To rub something is to push on it and move your hand back and forth. Mom's feet were sore, so she rubbed them. Senses. Your senses are how you see, taste, hear, feel, and smell. It would be hard to live without your five senses. Veterinarian. A veterinarian is a doctor that takes care of animals. Wanda became a veterinarian because she loves dogs. Patsy Ann. A long time ago in Alaska, a dog named Patsy Ann watched the horizon. Every day, she waited by the bay for ships returning from an expedition. Patsy Ann was a brilliant dog, and she was very unique. She was deaf. She couldn't bark either, but she used all of her other senses to know when a ship was near. Patsy Ann lived on the streets. Her owners did not want her because she could not hear, so they abandoned her. She found refuge in a fancy hotel. Guests rubbed her back and scratched her chin. Many people gave her food. She became quite overweight. She became very famous. Visitors to Alaska were enthusiastic about meeting her. They brought presents for her. They liked seeing her, and the feeling was mutual. The mayor said Patsy Ann should be called the town's greeter. The people in town loved Patsy Ann too, even though she lived on the streets. They were willing to fight to keep her. A new law made all dogs wear a collar and get shots. The mayor received many complaints. People wanted Patsy Ann to be able to stay. One ambitious sailor got people to help. Together, they paid for Patsy Ann to go to the veterinarian. She got her shots and collar. She could stay. When Patsy Ann died, everyone missed the town's loyal greeter. So the mayor hired someone to make a statue of Patsy Ann. He restored the town's greeter. Now she sits at the dock forever. Waiting for ships to come home. New words and examples. Anniversary. An anniversary is a day that celebrates something from the past. My parents went out to eat for their wedding anniversary.
Arithmetic. Arithmetic is math. I like to study arithmetic at school. Ashamed. To be ashamed is to feel upset because you did something wrong or bad. He was ashamed when he found out that I knew about his past. Burst. To burst is to suddenly break open or apart. The bomb burst over the city. Carpenter. A carpenter is a person who builds things with wood. We hired a carpenter to make a cupboard. Coal. Coal is a hard black rock that you burn for heat. Many power stations burn coal to produce energy. Couch. A couch is a long, soft seat that many people can sit on. Kim and Martin's new couch was very expensive. Drip. When a liquid drips, just a little bit falls at a time. I heard water dripping from the faucet. Elegant. If something is elegant, it is very fancy and pleasing. In Japan, women wear elegant kimonos on special occasions. Fabric. Fabric is cloth used to make clothes, furniture, etc. The towels were made from a soft fabric. Highlands. The highlands are high areas of land, usually with mountains. The man had a small home in the highlands. Ivory. Ivory is a white, hard substance that comes from elephants. The elephant's long ivory tusks looked very impressive. Mill. A mill is a building where flour is made. The farmer took his wheat to the mill to make it into flour. Needle. A needle is a small, sharp piece of metal that you use to make or fix clothes. I used a needle to fix the hole in my pants. Polish. To polish something is to rub it in order to make it shiny. Mark spent all morning polishing his shoes for the wedding. Sew. To sew means to put pieces of cloth together using string. I learned to sew when I was a little girl. Shed. A shed is a small building where you store things like tools. We have a small shed in the backyard for storage. Thread. A thread is a thin piece of string. I have many different colors of thread at home. Trim. To trim something is to cut it a little bit. I had my hair trimmed this afternoon. Upwards. If something goes upwards, it moves vertically higher. The kite went upwards further and further. The anniversary gift. Joe was a carpenter. He built houses in the Highlands. Joe's wife Stella used a needle and thread to sew elegant clothing. She only used beautiful fabric to make clothes. Since they didn't have a lot of money, they lived in an old shed. Water dripped in when it rained. They had broken chairs instead of a couch, but they had coal for heat. And flour from the mill for bread. Together, they trimmed the bushes to make their house look nice. Joe and Stella were poor, but not ashamed. They were happy. Sometimes in the evening, they walked downtown. They looked in store windows and dreamed. Stella wanted a hairbrush with an ivory handle. She pulled her hair upwards every day because she didn't have a brush to make it nice. Joe wanted to fix his grandfather's watch for their anniversary. Stella wanted to get Joe what he wanted, but then she did the arithmetic. It would take at least six months to save enough money. Then she had an idea. She cut off all of her hair and sold it. Meanwhile, Joe knew that he could never fix his watch, so he polished it and sold it. He made enough to buy the brush. On their anniversary, the door burst open. Joe was excited to give Stella his gift, but first. Stella gave him the money to fix the watch. When he saw his wife without any hair, he smiled. I sold my watch to buy you something, Joe said. He gave her the brush, and she laughed. They were both willing to give up something very special to make each other happy. The senator and the worm. Alert. To alert someone is to tell or warn them about something. The fire alarm alerted us that there was a problem. Broadcast. A broadcast is a television or radio show. We watched the broadcast of the local news on TV. Bulletin. 
A bulletin is a news report that talks about very recent and important events. There was a live bulletin reporting on the economy of the city. Bump. A bump is a small raised area on a surface. The monkey got a bump on his head because he was hit by a rock. Chop. To chop something means to cut it into pieces with a tool. Mom chopped some vegetables to put into the stew. Closet. A closet is a small room used to store things. Marie has many clothes inside of her closet. Console. To console someone who is sad means to make them comforted. When my dog ran away, my dad consoled me. District. A district is a small part of a city, county, state, or country. I live in a residential district of Seattle, Washington. Drawer. A drawer is a small part in furniture that is used to store things. I put my clothes into the empty drawers. Endure. To endure something tough means to do or go through it. She had to endure her husband shouting all day long. Execute. To execute someone means to kill them as a legal punishment. Some people are executed for serious crimes. Grasp. To grasp something means to hold it. He grasped the bag of money tightly. Rear. When something is in the rear of something, it is in the back. The man loaded the rear of his truck with boxes. Senator. A senator is someone who makes laws for a state. The young senator promised to make laws that would help the people. Skull. A skull is the hard part of your head. Your brain is inside of it. The brain is protected by the skull. Stir. To stir something means to mix it using something small like a spoon. Mom stirred the batter until it was smooth. Tap. To tap something is to hit it lightly. He tapped the keys of the keyboard to write a short word. Tremendous. When something is tremendous, it is very large. The Earth's oceans are filled with a tremendous amount of water. Underneath. When something is underneath something else, it is below or lower than it. The roots of a tree are located underneath the ground. Worm. A worm is a small animal with a long, thin body. Worms are often used to help catch fish. Practice listening. A rich senator lived in a big house. He had more money than anyone in his district. One day, he was sitting on a chair listening to a radio broadcast. As he listened to the news bulletin, a worm crawled from underneath the chair and onto his head. His cook was in the kitchen stirring some spaghetti sauce. Suddenly, a cry from the senator alerted him. He ran to the rear of the house where the senator was sitting. The cook looked and saw the worm. He tried to console the senator. I'll take it off right away," he said. "No!" shouted the senator. "I want you to kill it." "But it's only a worm," the cook said. "Why should we execute it? It hasn't committed a crime." The senator could not endure the worm on his head. "Hurry!" he shouted. The cook looked through several drawers but found nothing. Then he ran to the closet and took out a pipe. He returned to the senator and lifted the pipe over his head. He knew he couldn't just tap the worm. He was going to hit it hard. He grasped the pipe tightly. "What are you waiting for?" said the senator. "Kill it!" The cook swung the pipe at the senator's head. "Oh no!" the worm said. "He's going to chop me in half." It jumped off the senator's head. There was a tremendous noise. "Ow!" cried the senator. A bump rose upon his skull. Meanwhile, the worm crawled outside. "That was close," said the worm. Instead of being nice, he wanted to hurt me. Now that man has a big bump on his head. Trick or treat. Acquaint. To acquaint is to get to know something or someone. Nancy acquainted herself with the new computer. Cemetery. A cemetery is where people are buried when they die. Some people are scared of cemeteries. Curse. To curse someone or something is to hope that bad things happen to them. The witch cursed the village. Disguise. 
A disguise is something you wear so people cannot tell who you are. Everyone knew that it was Dad in the Santa disguise. Fancy. If something is fancy, it is nicer than normal. Their table was all set for a fancy dinner. Flashlight. A flashlight is a small electric light that you carry in your hand. We took a flashlight when we went camping. Hood. A hood is part of a coat that goes over your head. She put on her hood to keep her head warm. Inhabitant. An inhabitant is a person who lives in a certain place. The number of inhabitants in the countryside is increasing. Nourish. To nourish something is to give it food that it needs to live. A good mother will nourish her baby every day. Pirate. A pirate is a sailor who steals things from other boats. Pirates are very scary characters. Publication. A publication is something printed, like a newspaper or book. She's been a subscriber to that publication for over ten years. Riddle. A riddle is a question that is difficult to answer, but meant to be funny. I could not answer Wendy's riddle, but it made me laugh. Rot. When something rots, it slowly gets softer and is destroyed. The old log began to rot in the forest. Scare. To scare means to cause one to feel frightened. I was scared by the sight of the monster. Shortly. If something will happen shortly, it will happen very soon. My workday will end shortly. Skeleton. A skeleton is the bones of a body. There is a skeleton in the science classroom. Spoil. If something spoils, it turns bad or rots. We left the fruit out too long, and it spoiled. Starve. If a person starves, they do not get enough to eat and sometimes die. During the war, many people starved. Thrill. A thrill is an exciting feeling. The boys enjoy the thrill of surfing a big wave. Wicked. If something is wicked, it is very bad or evil. My boss is a very wicked man. Trick or treat. Many different cultures have had traditions about the dead. People in places like Ireland, China, Egypt, and Mexico believed that souls needed food. They thought the food nourished them on their journey from cemeteries to heaven. People had to put out good things for souls to eat. However, if the food rotted or spoiled, the soul got mad. The wicked soul might curse the family and make them starve during the winter. In other places, people begged for food on a holiday that remembers the souls of dead saints. People wore disguises with hoods that covered their faces. If they did not get food, they played a trick on the home. For this reason, the activity is known as trick or treating. Shortly after people first began trick or treating, parents started sending their children to beg on that day. Housewives gave the children food if they performed a song or a dance. When people moved to America from all over the world, they brought this tradition with them. Inhabitants of villages started trick or treating in the early 1900s. In 1939, a children's publication acquainted the whole country with the tradition. It became very popular. Today, trick or treaters are not begging for food, and they are not scared of souls. They just enjoy the thrill of dressing up like creatures and getting candy. Ghosts and skeletons are favorite costumes, but some children wear fancy disguises, like pirates. They carry flashlights instead of fires. In some places, children still perform songs or riddles to get candy, but most of the time they just say "trick or treat." Alley. An alley is a narrow road behind houses or buildings. The alley behind my house looks dirty. Axe. An axe is a tool used to cut wood. She used an axe to cut some wood for the fire. Bunch. A bunch is a group of the same things. She was hungry, so she ate the entire bunch of grapes. Chore. A chore is a job that you have to do but don't like. It's Nikki's chore to do the dishes every Tuesday and Wednesday night. Decent. 
When something is decent, it is okay or good enough. Eric did a decent job painting the fence. Disgrace. Disgrace is a feeling of shame. He felt a sense of disgrace after failing his big exam. Elbow. The elbow is the middle part of a person's arm that lets you bend it. She pointed to her elbow to show me where she hurt herself. Grateful. When you are grateful for something, you are happy that it happened. The girls were grateful to have a chance to spend time with their grandfather. Irritate. To irritate means to annoy someone. She was irritated when her brother told her that he had lost her camera. Kid. To kid is to make a joke to make someone believe something which is not true. I'm not really mad. I was kidding when I said I was angry. Loose. When something is loose, it is not held in place well. The bolt was loose, so I tightened it with the wrench. Offend. To offend someone means to make them angry or upset. They were both offended by what they had said to each other. Overnight. When something happens overnight, it happens during the night. The camper stayed in the tent overnight. Persist. To persist means to keep doing something even when it is hard. Even though the lesson was difficult, he persisted until he understood. Pine. A pine is a type of tree that is tall and thin. There were many beautiful pine trees in the forest. Scar. A scar is a mark on the skin after a wound heals. The monster had horrible scars on his cheek and forehead. Sensation. A sensation is a feeling a person gets from their senses. Mom got a painful sensation in her head from the loud noise. Sled. A sled is a small vehicle that you use on snow. Marvin likes to ride his sled down the hill in winter. Tease. To tease someone means to laugh at or make fun of them. Jake teased Charlie because he was the new student. Valentine. A valentine is someone you love or admire with great affection. Harry wanted Molly to be his valentine. The boy and his sled. Mike was the smallest child in school. Another boy, Joe, always teased Mike. Joe had a large scar on his face from fighting other children. One day, Joe offended Mike when he made fun of Mike's valentine, Jane. Mike felt disgrace, but he didn't know how to make Joe stop. That day, Mike walked home down an alley. He found a bunch of wood boards next to a pine tree. He thought to himself, "I could build a decent sled from this. If I let Joe use it, he will be nicer to me and Jane." He took the wood home. Mike got an axe and cut the wood. He used nails to make sure that the pieces were not loose. As he worked, he bumped his elbow on the boards. The painful sensation made him want to cry. It was a hard chore, but he persisted. He worked overnight. By morning, the sled was finished. Mike called Joe on the telephone. He said, "Hi, Joe. Come over to my house right away." Joe didn't know why Mike wanted him to come over. When Joe arrived, Mike told him, "Joe, it irritated me the other day when you said mean things about my card to Jane. You weren't kidding when you said those mean things. But I'm not like you. I just built this sled, and I'll let you ride it with me if you are nice." They became friends. And Joe was grateful that Mike was so nice to him. He learned that it is more fun to be nice than to be mean. Arise. To arise is to happen. Difficulties arose with his computer because it was old. Benefactor. A benefactor is a person who gives money to help someone. The student's benefactor gave him money to spend on his studies. Blacksmith. A blacksmith is a person who makes things out of metal. The blacksmith pounded the piece of metal until it was flat. Charitable. When someone is charitable, they help people who are in need. My sister was charitable enough to help me buy my first house. Chimney. A chimney is a tall pipe used to carry smoke out of a building.
The cat was on the roof, sitting next to the chimney. Compensate. To compensate is to pay someone for the time they spent doing something. Her boss compensated her for the extra work she did last week. Encounter. If you encounter something, you meet or come close to it. I encountered a sea turtle while I was swimming. Exceed. To exceed is to be more than something. Since I exceeded my limit, I decided to get rid of my credit cards. Forge. To forge is to make or produce, especially with difficulty. Stacy and Heather forged their friendship when they were teenagers. Humble. People who are humble do not believe that they are better than other people. Even though Bob is the smartest boy in his class, he is humble. Iron. Iron is a strong metal that is used to make many objects. The horse had shoes made of iron. Ladder. A ladder is an object that is used to climb up and down things. He used a ladder to climb to the top of his treehouse. Modest. If people are modest, they do not think that they are too important. Derek is very modest for someone who is so rich. Occupy. To occupy a place is to live, work, or be there. Kevin and Alice occupied the chairs and had a long discussion. Penny. A penny is a coin worth one cent. U.S. President Abraham Lincoln is on the penny. Preach. To preach is to talk about and promote a religious idea. Aaron often preached about living an honest life. Prosper. To prosper is to be successful or make a lot of money. Frank's new business finally prospered after many years of hard work. Province. A province is a small area that is controlled by a country. Canada is divided into several different provinces. Satisfaction. Satisfaction is a feeling you get when you do or receive something good. Brad was filled with satisfaction when he saw what was for dinner. Sustain. To sustain something is to keep it going. Wind power is a clean way to sustain a city with energy. The real Saint Nick. At Christmas, children wait for Saint Nicholas to bring gifts down the chimney. But it's not just a story. Saint Nicholas was a real person. A long time ago, a man named Marcus occupied a house with his family. He was not modest. He always told everybody he was the strongest man in the province. He worked hard, but he could barely sustain his family. He wanted to save money and prosper. Still, he could never earn a penny more than he needed. One day, Marcus made an agreement with a blacksmith. The blacksmith had a lot of work to do, but he couldn't do it all by himself. Marcus wanted to help him forge iron. The blacksmith agreed to compensate him with a lot of money. In the same town, there was a man named Nicholas. At an early age, Nicholas started preaching. But he also believed that he should be humble and charitable. He learned that helping people gave him even more satisfaction than preaching. One day, Nicholas encountered Marcus. Marcus told Nicholas about his agreement with the blacksmith. I worked hard for him, Marcus said. But a problem arose. Even though I worked for him, he didn't pay me. Nicholas wanted to help Marcus. That night, he went back to Marcus's house. He brought a bag of gold. It exceeded the amount that Marcus needed. Nicholas climbed up a ladder and dropped the bag of gold down the chimney. Marcus thanked his benefactor. Soon, people found out about Nicholas's gift. He became well known and loved. Even today, people still give secret gifts to children, and we say they are from Saint Nicholas. Acquire. To acquire something is to gain possession of it. Tina acquired a strange package yesterday. Awkward. If something is awkward, it is embarrassing and uncomfortable. After dropping his coffee cup, Robbie felt awkward. Caretaker. A caretaker is a person who takes care of very young, old, or sick people. My grandmother's caretaker helps her get around the house. Deceive. To deceive someone is to make them believe something that is not true. 
He tried to deceive his friends as they were playing a game. Discourage. To discourage someone is to make them feel less excited about something. Mr. Perry discouraged the students from quitting school. Fake. If something is fake, it is made to look real in order to trick people. The model was wearing fake eyelashes. Hatred. Hatred is a strong feeling of not liking someone or something. I have a hatred for the taste of medicine. Hut. A hut is a house made of wood, grass, or mud that has only one or two rooms. We all went into the hut to sleep. Inferior. If something is inferior, it is not as good as something else. Cars built a hundred years ago are inferior to ones built today. Lodge. A lodge is a house in the mountains used by people who hunt or fish. During our ski trip, we stayed at a lodge. Neglect. To neglect someone or something is to not take care of it properly. William neglected his room, so it is a complete mess. Newcomer. A newcomer is a person who has recently arrived at a place or a group. The students happily welcome the newcomer to the school. Offense. An offense is behavior that is wrong or breaks a law. Stealing a car is a very serious offense. Overlook. To overlook something is to not notice it or to not realize that it is important. Brenda overlooked the last step and had a bad fall. Repay. To repay is to pay back or to reward someone or something. She repaid her friend for all of his hard work with a small gift. Ridiculous. If something is ridiculous, it is silly or strange. Steve looked ridiculous with those huge blue sunglasses. Satisfactory. If something is satisfactory, it is good enough. Mina often received satisfactory grades since she studied so hard. Shepherd. A shepherd is a person who protects and cares for sheep. The shepherd moved the sheep to another field. Venture. To venture is to go to a place that may be dangerous. Even though it was dangerous, they ventured up the mountain. Wheat. Wheat is a plant which makes grain. Wheat grain is used to make bread. The field of golden wheat was ready to be harvested. The shepherd and the wild sheep. Once there was a shepherd. Every night he counted and gathered his sheep. He was sure never to overlook any of them. One night he saw some wild sheep had joined his herd. He hoped to acquire the newcomers. It snowed that night. In the morning, the shepherd couldn't take his sheep out of his lodge. Instead, he had to feed them inside. He gave a small amount of wheat to his own sheep, but he gave more of the food to the wild sheep. He thought the extra wheat would discourage them from leaving. It snowed for several days. During that time, the shepherd's sheep ate very little. The wild sheep, however, ate very well. At last, the snow melted, and they ventured outdoors. As soon as he opened the door of his hut. The wild sheep started to run away. Wait, this is how you repay me? After I treated you so kindly, why do you run away? The shepherd asked. His voice was full of hatred. The wild sheep stopped and turned toward the shepherd. We're leaving because you fed us better than your own sheep. One of the wild sheep replied. You tried to deceive us with your ridiculous plan. Yesterday you treated us kindly, but tomorrow you might be different. If more wild sheep joined your herd. You would treat us as inferior sheep. As the wild sheep ran away, the shepherd understood his offense. He knew this awkward situation was his own fault. He had not been a satisfactory caretaker. He was a fake friend to the wild sheep. Because of this, he had neglected his own herd. Bloom. When a plant blooms, it makes flowers. Roses look so pretty when they bloom. Compact. If something is compact, it is smaller than normal. A laptop computer is much more compact than a desktop model. Curl. A curl is a small piece of something with a round shape.
The colorful ribbons were bent into curls. Decay. To decay is to be destroyed naturally. The old wooden house was slowly decaying. Dessert. Dessert is a sweet food that you eat after a meal. Kayla wants ice cream for dessert. Dip. To dip something is to put part of it into a liquid for a short time. Laurel dipped her strawberry into the chocolate. Distant. If something is distant, it is far away. Michael could barely see the distant island. Eclipse. An eclipse is an occasion when the moon moves in front of the sun. A complete eclipse of the sun is a very rare occurrence. Fairy. A fairy is a small magic creature with wings. There are usually fairies in fantasy stories. Grace. Grace is a quality of moving in a smooth, relaxed, and attractive way. The ballerina danced with grace. Leisure. Leisure is time when you do not have to do work. Eve likes to listen to music in her leisure time. Mankind. Mankind is all of the world's people. All of mankind has to work to make this a better world. Passion. Passion is a very strong feeling of wanting to do something. She had a passion for dancing. Pillow. A pillow is something that you put your head on when you sleep. When I travel, I usually take along my favorite pillow. Pulse. A pulse is the beat of the heart. The doctor checked the patient's pulse by feeling his wrist. Refresh. To refresh someone is to make them feel less hot or tired. The baby was refreshed after taking a cool bath. Sneeze. To sneeze is to suddenly blow air out of your nose and mouth. He sneezed after smelling the flower. Spice. A spice is a flavor for food and drinks. Two common spices found in many homes are salt and pepper. Whistle. To whistle is to make a sound by putting your lips together and blowing. As he was listening to music, Daryl whistled. Wool. Wool is the hair that a sheep has. Grandma wants to use the blue wool to knit me a sweater. Tiny Tina. In a distant land. There was a kingdom where fairies lived. Tina was a fairy. She had yellow curls and wore a dress made of wool. She always moved with grace. However, because of her compact size, she was scared of mankind. One day, there was an eclipse of the sun. The fairies didn't know what was happening. They were scared, so they ran away. Tina looked for a place to hide. She found a garden with flowers blooming. Tina had a passion for flowers. She decided to hide there. She became sleepy and made a pillow with some leaves. She whistled happily as she worked, and she fell asleep. Suddenly, somebody sneezed. The sound woke Tina up. She saw a very big face looking at her. Tina was so scared that she couldn't move. She could feel her pulse going very fast. The big woman went into her house. When she came back, she gave Tina a cup. The woman sat on the ground among some decaying leaves. Tina dipped a finger in the cup and tasted it. It was tea with all kinds of delicious spices in it. Tina felt refreshed after drinking the tea. "I'm Wilma," the lady said. "I spend all my leisure time in my garden cutting flowers. Would you like some dessert?" Tina said yes. She was hungry and she wasn't frightened any more. She took a bite of cake and relaxed. "How did you get to my garden?" Tina told Wilma how she got lost. "That's terrible." Let us take you home. Actually, I think that I want to stay with you," Tina said. She wasn't scared of big people anymore. Wilma and Tina lived happily ever after.